What's going on guys? It's No No Just Checking In and today we're going to do a different type of video. So if you watch my shit for my normal shit, then shit on shit. <laughs> Normally I talk about mental health, TRT, uh, my life updates that revolve around those things, and then philosophies, feedbacks, blah, blah, blah. Typically the content I give you guys is relatively serious and I'm happy for, for that. I think it's a good thing. But one thing that sometimes is on my mind is that you guys get a version of me that is not entirely honest in the sense that I'm not that serious most of the time. And now if I'm having a hard time, then yes, I'm pretty serious, I suppose, like anyone. But when I'm feeling more stable, I'm a pretty upbeat person. I'm certainly a goofy person, etc., etc. So I'm thinking to myself, like, how do I give you guys a better sense of that? I think it'd be a good idea, it'd be a good thing, but I don't want to make, like, literally, like funny videos just to be funny. So I'm like, how can I express that part of my personality in a way that let's say could be of some use? And here's what I came up with. I've decided that I'm gonna do this uh, a segment, maybe once a week, once every two weeks, called <clears throat> The Time I dot dot dot. And I'm just gonna tell you guys stories of my life that I think are amusing, that can help you guys get to know me better and just lighten the load, lighten the mood, make the content not always so rigid and serious like it kinda tends to be. Um, I think it's a good idea. I think it'll let you guys in on a different side of me or a different part of my personality that if you've tuned into my second channel, Big No No Chronicles, you already know about this part of me. But if you haven't, then you might think I'm a relatively, like I don't say it a million times, serious mofo and it's just not entirely true so please be on the lookout for that um i think you guys will enjoy it i know i'll enjoy it because sometimes i just want to turn on the camera and just relax and just have a little fun and just be be more lighthearted because i think learning to have fun when you're down or learning to have fun when you're coming out of, of something hard I think that's important, and um, and I think that this can be a way to mix it up on this channel, keep things a little more, a little more boop. Anyway, I will be doing these kind of videos maybe once a week, as long as I can get enough of, of the other videos to, to keep this shit legit, to quit. So, the time I, uh, I should probably do a really small one to give you guys a sample. Just a little sample size of what I'm going to be talking about in other videos. Every one of those videos will start with the time I. Okay. Here we go. Here's an example. Life story. Get to know the big known a little bit better. All right, guys. I'm going to take you back in time to the time I farted on a girl I liked in fourth grade. Sounds juvenile, but I need you to bear with me. Okay. So it's fourth grade, and there is this girl that every single boy in class has a crush on. Her name, we'll just call her Caprice. That wasn't actually her name, but that's a baller name. My name, my daughter, Caprice. Um, right, babe? Yeah. So, Caprice, uh, again, is the cutest fourth grader in school. Every boy, like I said, has a crush on Caprice. I am not immune to her charming fourth grade essence. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we're doing like a story time. I'm the new kid in my school, and I sit next to her by chance. I was I was very like nervous around her, so I didn't like put myself right next to her. She sat next to me, sort of thing. I was elated nonetheless. Uh, and we're sitting there, and we're listening to the teacher read, and I'm just trying to be cool, for lack of better words. I'm just trying to play it cool. I want this girl to think I'm cool. I already have this like mysterious new kid energy, which I really milked for about a year until I was no longer the new kid. And then some asshole named Harrison came in and he was new and I was like, what? And they're like, yo, you're not cool anymore. I'm like, come on now. So I'm sitting next to Caprice. The teacher is doing her reading and Caprice sort of says something I suppose to be cute, I guess. And I giggle, but upon giggling, I kind of like tighten my body, I flinch. And when I do so, I just blow ass like right at her because I was sitting at like an angle. So like my left knee on top of my right knee, you know, feet to the left, sort of propped up with my right hand sort of thing. Like anyway, it just comes out <laughs> right at her, right at her. Just crop dusted the whole field. And she looks at me disgusted. It's not like when you're older and a girl might laugh. No, that shit. <laughs> No jokes intended, no pun intended. That was not funny to her. And she thought I was disgusting and she moved away from me. And not only did that happen, but other kids heard it too and giggled. And I'm pretty sure the teacher did, but I think, I think the teacher was trying to play it cool. Either way, I went from being like this mysterious new kid to the kid that farted on Caprice. 
Um, and it was a little bit of a deal breaker, I think. I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, sort of blew her away. <laughs> so that is the time I farted on uh, on Caprice, and um, it was it was truly a very haunting experience. I didn't find myself confident until a few years later, so that just made it made shit weird. That is an example of of a, a video of this nature of the time I type a video. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys found the story to be somewhat amusing. Either way, it'll, it'll let you into my life more, which I think is important. I think that's a big part of this channel, and it'll allow you to get to know me on a lighter level, on a more lighthearted level, which I am about. I am about that life. Let's do that so that there's a better balance for when shit gets hard, because as you guys know, things can get hard, and I like to talk about that, and I'll always be open about that, but that is an example of those type of videos. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me comments. What is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happen to you in front of a girl and during the school age I'm excited to read your comments and, and just sort of like I keep saying change the mood we'll do another video soon I look forward to doing more of these like I said sporadically um, so I hope you enjoyed it and if Caprice if you're watching this girl I'm so sorry I mean I'm not trying to be with you no more I got me a good one she's on the couch but I'm sorry for farting on you Caprice girl you recognize this booty girl Caprice, you like, you see what I'm saying, girl?